Daryl Ponton. Welcome to my channel. Today, I got a good friend coming by, Larry, to come pick us up and take a look at this job we done about a year or so ago. There he is. Poor Larry. There's a lot of a lot of fields out here. Farmed all that ground. How many years were you farming? My dad and I farmed this farm. My dad started it and ended up 58 years we farmed. 19... About 1940, I think, or 39, when we started farming this farm. Well, my dad told me that when he first started farming, him and his uh, grandpa, they farmed with horses a little bit yeah. before they got a tractor. Out here, yeah. they've been farming. That was the main thing back then, you know. You had to farm to provide for your families. Everybody knows where I live anyway. You know? <laughs> well, a lot of people are worried about it. It's just nice um, to come out here and take a look at what we done, what do you think, it's been a couple of years? Actually, we did it after the Gertine house, so that was probably the fall of 19. Yeah, just realized that in town, working with other people, I've been in over 10 years. I think it was 2014 that we done that work on the bowling alley. That's where you said we closed it, oh, yeah. tore the lanes out. So, man, five, six years goes by quick. Ralph helped you with this a few, about 10, 15 years ago, huh? Well, it was a nice little project that we had. Oh yeah, it still, still looks as nice as I remember. Yeah, I really, I still like that balcony we put up there. That oh, that makes it look nice. so good. You did a good job. The black pipe, the black pipe, I like. Oh yeah, that really, that really brings it out. It just makes a little difference. Plus, you can see, you can see through it. You can see who's up there. Whatever and the, remember when we first come out here to, you had the spiral staircase. I want to put this in, and I was <laughs> scratching my head thinking. How in the heck are we going to put this in? in a pile over there, right, all right. pieces. But you figured out how to do it. Well, you know, we put our heads together and... Yeah, and it turned out really yeah. nice. I think we yeah. spent probably at Everybody, least a couple yeah. of months to Everybody finish the soap. about that stairway, how nice it looks. It's not bad going up, but coming down is a little... Uh, yeah, a little tight if you're a real big guy. Yeah, compared to what it didn't have this loft up here or nothing. I mean, without that, it wouldn't look as good. Still want to put in the bathroom, right? Yeah, we're going to put our bathroom in the meeting, church meeting out here, the wedding, graduation. Well, it's nice to get little family get together. I enjoyed when we were out here working on it it's because, you know, it's just memories that you're going to have later. The details, you know, it seemed like a long road at first, but, 
you know, it didn't really take us that long. It was, I had an idea what I wanted, but I didn't know how to do it all. Right. Probably won't put in, but he knows how to pick out the right frames to make it look good. You know, one thing, Daryl, you got that, you got that so tight along the floor, I don't see no mouse tracks anymore. Right, right. You know? How many square feet do you think this is? Uh, it's about 20 by 20, or 22 by 22, something like that. So 400, a little over. Upstairs. So you got your little picture put up there. Yeah. And then yeah. the family kids, plaque. Kids got us that. There's really not a whole lot of room up there, but mostly for sleeping. But yeah. Like you say, them stairs just just made the cell on it. Most you know? people are going to come out here, maybe with one kid or two. So there's plenty of room for them to lay their bags down and sleep up there. Future bathroom. Yeah, future water closet. Future. <laughs> <laughs> but it's something, you know. You're out here better better yeah. than going behind a tree, you know. Actually, you just gotta that's get probably as big as some bathrooms in the houses. Sometime this year or so, we'll maybe work on that, huh? Mm. We had water out here, and it didn't take us two hours. We had water. Here. How far down you think? Twenty feet? Not even twenty. Maybe fifteen. Well, it's nice that it's a sand point, so you don't have to go down that far. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to pay the big expensive price yeah, of someone digging down 200 feet, like in town, you know? It actually didn't cost me anything. The boys put it out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might do that this summer. Last last year, I didn't really get out and do a lot. So I miss, miss the woods. I lived out in the country, you know, you, start missing the trees and the wilderness this was all trees but over the years with the campfire i don't know if the smoke hurt them or what but then all this died off it was locust trees mostly my grandpa would get out there and every uh fall he'd burn up the shrub and my dad would start raising heck with them because of, he, well you're gonna burn the woods down you know <laughs> kind of you bring your ice skates out and go ice yeah. skate. Uh, not now. <laughs> Might fall in now. It'd be great for campfires, like, you know, you have little parties and mm -hmm. stuff. Anxious to see what kind of fish you can catch out of there. Yeah, I have no clue. I probably got some muskrat in there, I bet. All around this whole woods, that 80 acres that we sold, that my dad sold, and we'd raise pigs out there in the woods. We had hog huts, they were like little A frames. They were like little A frames. for joining me today my name is Daryl Ponton and this is my YouTube channel thanks for watching and I hope that y'all had a good time on this adventure see you in the next video